Today's question comes from Steve. He has a question about flash photography. He mentions photographing in dark wooded environments and just kissing the subject with a light source to lift awkward shadows. He mentions that uh, he's used external speed lights for macro and sometimes he's used it handheld in woodland and dark wooded areas. However, any help or advice would be great. Well, Steve, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of help or advice for you with flash photography. I almost never use flash photography in my bird photography. All the photos I share are just strictly natural light. I personally just don't like the look of flash, even when it's just used as fill flash. And I like to actually work with the ambient available light to make the photo look the way I want to. So for me, it's very important to pay attention to lighting and background and light direction, intensity of light, overcast, sun, all those sorts of things. Uh, I really pay a lot of attention to those details to get the lighting the way I want. And I also do a fair amount in post-processing to make the photo look really good the way I want. So you, know, you asked about adding in a little bit of fill flash just to lift up those shadows. I do that in post. I just lighten the photo in post a little bit. And to me, it just gives it a little bit more of a natural look. That being said, I have some really amazing photographer friends and I've seen some incredible stuff online from photographers that do use fill flash and use it great. So if that's your thing, I have not a problem in the world with it. Uh, I'd say if it works for you, then that's great. For me, it's just one more thing to worry about as far as settings. And I feel like it's just a little bit limiting as far as distance, you know, and if your camera's set to take into account that fill flash and then it doesn't, um, and then say the flash doesn't recycle fast enough or there was uh, maybe a little bit of a branch or something in the foreground that could create a shadow from your flash. There's all these extra unforeseen issues in my mind that are gonna come up from using flash photography and I just don't wanna be worried about them. Uh, that being said, I'm really comfortable using flash. In my wedding and portrait photography days, I was really good at using flash off camera, on camera for fill. Uh, sometimes I would use up to three external flashes. So it's not so much a problem of understanding how it works and, and figuring it out. I, I think I really have that part of it down. It's just a matter of, for me and my taste and the look that I want in my photographs, I didn't find it necessary at all. So I would say, you know, if you're comfortable using it and uh, happy with the way it looks, then stick with it. I would say, more often than not, I would try to err on the side of less flash than more flash, so it doesn't have that flashed look. You know, the ones that really look the worst to me are the ones where it's just a blatant, obvious flash, and, you know, and the background's just going dark and that sort of thing, and it really just kind of looks obnoxious and fake. It doesn't look legit. But I've seen some where the fill flash definitely does just a nice subtle job and it looks fine. So I'd say in the end, it's up to you. And hopefully you can see you really don't need it based on all the photos I've shared online. Thanks so much for submitting questions. And if you have a question you'd like to ask me about wildlife photography, hop on over to my website at rayhennessy.com and submit the question there. And I might just choose it for a future episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like everything I've been sharing here. And I share a ton of other stuff on my website blog posts, articles, other instructional videos that aren't even available on this YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the email list on my website to get exclusive tips, tricks, and offers. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll have more to share again soon.